One minute, one minute. Oh my God. 60 seconds. Getting hot. We're down to 30 seconds. And the looks on everyone's faces yeah. change. What's poppin', everybody? I go by the name Conceited, and welcome to MTV Sneaker Wars. We're the only show where two shoe customizers go head to head and kick to kick. But not only just for bragging rights, but for a chance to take home the Sneaker Wars trophy. Each sneakerhead must take one classic kick, one fire theme, and one secret element to remix them into a never before seen creation. You guys did not make it easy on us one bit. And now, of course, you know I did not come alone. You've seen her on Wildin' Out. She's also an NBA host and sneaker influencer, Brittany Elena. Gang, what's good? And also, we got the man who needs no introduction, co-founder of Round 2, my man, Sean Witherspoon. What up? Now, let's meet our customizers. To my left, we have my man, Justin. I'm Justin Heydrich. I've been customizing shoes for about seven years. What I brand myself on is trying to transform the actual shoe itself. Instead of just putting a good painting on this shoe, so that combined with my photorealistic painting ability, I try to mesh those together and create something unique. And now going against Justin, we got my man, Michael. I'm ready. I'm Michael, I'm 28, and I'm from Sacramento, California. My sneaker customization journey started five months ago. I had some friends over to my house. I had everybody bring Yeezy 500s. We all dipped them in different colors, and that was kind of where the process grew, starting to see that you could bring more to the silhouette than you're actually seeing on the shelf. Now, are y'all ready to see the shoe we're gonna be customizing today? Let's bring them out. See what we got. Woo! The West Coast staple. Forever imitated, never duplicated, today's canvas is the original waffle bottom skate shoe. It's the Vans classic slip-on. Now, there is a theme here. Now, the theme for this is cyberpunk. A wonderful combo of high tech mixed with broken society. So cyberpunk to me is like a dystopian future. It makes me think of Robocop. It makes me think of Tesla Cybertruck. But there is a hidden element that you must use you must add spare shoe parts to the final product. Zippers, Velcro, patches, anything a slip-on wouldn't have organically. This is something you don't really ever see on a van. Are y'all ready? Let's do it. All right, let's get some time up on the clock and let's get it popping. At this point, I've done some competitions in the past, so I'm definitely comfortable with what I'm able to do. So this is crazy. I've only been doing this for about three, four months. I'm ready to give it my all and uh, bring something really different to the competition. I used to wear bands. Slip on? Yeah, I used to skate in them. I'll mess with the slip on. I'm more of a skate high. Yeah. It's a shoe that I never really go out of style, yeah, no. but especially for skaters. Dang, those look like, look, he's about to jump start that one. Yeah. <laughs> Some jumper cables. You, you. Yo. Nailing the rubber. That's real cyberpunk. Big Mike, you what you got going over here? So you put tape around it. Let us know what you're gonna do with so, the shoe. I think I'm gonna add either some like aglets here and here to add some sort of lacing system around the sides. I could take the lace locks, using them as the braces to funnel the lacing system through and add open circuitry, thinking back to the days of having a Game Boy Color that was translucent something that you could see the internals of. It's a lot of big words, but I understood it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I understood it. <laughs> Dang, what you got going on? I like this. Yeah, so it's pretty rough at this point, but trying to just sketch some things out. I want to start with a portrait on the front panel, since that's a smooth canvas that I can use and kind of demonstrate my painting abilities. And then I definitely want to add some details, like some hardware and some industrial aspects, and work with that. We only got 30 minutes left. Cook it, cook it. And the looks on everyone's faces <laughs> change. I see no nervous sweat or nothing. These guys are just like. Maybe they're so nervous they can't show it. I would have no. dropped the shoe mad times, the mad skin. <laughs> oh, <they're> like... <laughs> the colors on Justice are popping. I actually really on. drew a face on it. You know, Mike's going detailed over there. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to see some real intricate line work. Time's almost up. We got five minutes left. Five minutes. <laughs> So we're at five minutes left, feeling a little like a fish out of water. I'm looking over at Justin's shoe and I'm seeing all the elements he's added. He's put nails into the sides. He's put lace tips on the back. He's got nodes coming out of the head of the drawing that he did. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
while I was working, I wasn't trying to look too much at what Mike was doing. It was a short amount of time and I was trying to focus on my work. But from what I did see from his, I am a little worried that my shoe is gonna be too busy in contrast to his and that the judges might think there's too much going on. One minute, one minute, getting hot. <laughs> I really wonder if they actually have everything done that they have planned. We're down to 30 seconds. Yeah, they're still trying to get so. in there. Last minute touch. Nah, it's kind of stressful. Time. Drop the shoe. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, Mike, let me see what you got going on over there, brother. Given a white canvas, I really wanted to bring some depth to a metallic look so using the black, white, and silver metallic paint. Then I taped off a section here to show some exposed circuitry. The extra laces were the mystery element that you guys threw in. I've had a great time being here and putting this all together for you guys. Justin, why don't you show us what you made up over there? The one thing that I wanted to capitalize on was the fact that it doesn't have laces. So it gives me a clean canvas on the front. So I definitely wanted to create a portrait that kind of set the tone for the rest of the sneaker with this heavy cyberpunk aesthetic, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Me too, man. You guys did an excellent yeah. job. You guys beat the clock. Present your kicks. Yeah. And unfortunately, I got to kick you out because I got to deliberate with my homies to see who won. This is a lot to take in. You know, it's a crazy shoe. There's like a certain level of perfection that I kind of like though. You see how he did the lace locks? See? Like that kind of little detail trips me out. Like, I love that. This being in, let's say, a museum or something, yeah. I would think this is insane, crazy. And I don't know, the more I look at it, I don't like the spikes. Really? It's just not for me. I like the spikes, but me, it's the wires. To me, the wires are just too long. But now let's move on to Mike's shoe. As far as wearing, mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. I really like how the color varies from so like that dark to the light, and then it's got the glitter and the sparkles. So I can really imagine good. what this would look like in the sun. Yep. Like it would really it would pop. Killer. Portrait mode. Yeah. You know what I would like to see was like just more soul work. Mess with the soul a little more. Maybe like cut some pieces out of it. When I look at it, I'm still like cool van soul. This is hard. Both of them have a different place, yeah. right? Yeah, that's like, the thing. That's the problem with sneakers. There's no wrong or right answer. You guys have a very hard decision to make. Bring them in, bring them in. Now, we deliberated. You guys did not make it easy on us one bit. But we are going to talk about each individual shoe. We're going to start it off with Mike. Brittany, take it away. First and foremost, both designs were amazing. Mike, I loved your shoe because it would be more wearable. You know, with me, I like to show my sneakers off on my Instagram. I would automatic portrait mode, the metallic, I can think of the sun, everything, bam, feed, Instagram, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the lacing function. I think I could really like rock those. As far as my con, I think there could be like a little bit more elevation to it. I think maybe some more work on the sole, getting a little bit more crazy with it, but that being said, it's very wearable. Moving on, what you got to say about Justin? You killed it just off the bat. The image on the front, just the attention to the detail. Like, I love your moments of perfection in there because you can tell that you really, like, spend time to make those holes perfect. Like, each line is, like, painted so straight, you know? Um, I think my only con would just be it's a little too loud then. You know, the wires, I think, were maybe a, a little too much. The studs and that kind of stuff, you know, a little too extra. You went crazy with the spikes and everything. I will say, though, your shoe is not wearable. I feel like it's like a masterpiece in like in a glass box. Like it's like you don't even want to crease nothing, do nothing to it. Both of you were amazing, but this is sneaker wars, and when you go to war, it can only be one winner. And it was not easy at all, but we have to pick. The winner is. We're gonna go with Justin. I'm super happy with winning this competition. I was happy with the opportunity to show my work. There you go. Heavy, right? Yeah. So that's yours. And now we will see you on another episode of Sneaker Wars, where we gonna kick it. Peace.